Today's episode of Podsky Outdoors comes to you from Connecticut, where we're just outside of the town of Mystic here on the Connecticut River. We're fishing on the edge of the Long Island Sound for bluefish and stripers. Now, today was a day that was kind of an interesting day. Joe Diorio with Joe Diorio Guide Service, and I decided to do a little filming out here in an area we've never really targeted stripers before. He does this every single day, and he had the wonderful message to me. He said, Shafe, be here. 4.15 to 4.30, no later. So we got out there, we fished the morning for about an hour and a half to two hours when he knew the bite was gonna be hot. Got off the water, had breakfast, we went way out on the Long Island Sound, did a bunch of fishing all day, came back, had a little Chia Pino at one of the drive-in areas that we could bring our boat, and then we went back out there on the lower edge of the Connecticut River to do a little bit more bluefish and striper fishing. All right, just got this on the Potsky fire gel, Menhaden. Definitely making the difference today. All right, we're out here in Connecticut. A little top water bluefish action. Ah, oh, bluefish! Ah! ah. All right, so today we were out here using uh, the Lamb of Glass rods. This is a Lamb of Glass Triflex Inshore V2, matched with the Daiwa BG4000. Uh, we're using 40 pound braid, we're using 40 pound leader tactical angler clip. This is the dock made by Musky Mania. Um, basically this, this imitates a large full-size bunker. There's a lot of full-size bunker in the river right now. Um, for the past year, I've been using the Potsky fire gel at Anise and uh, this stuff is awesome. What I do is I lather, take a big clump of it, put it all over it. Top, bottom, everywhere. Right. And that will make a nice scent trail going through the water. You'll get these fish to bite a lot easier. We're out here targeting stripers, bluefish, pretty much anything that's going to bite. Um, we're early in the season, the fishing's only going to get better from here. Make sure you have your fire gel in your bag. Good, uh, good bluefish. This one here is soft plastic. Fire gel. This one's got the anise on there. Look at that. He, uh, he demolished that soft plastic. There you go. Nice Connecticut bluefish. Fire gel. All right, we got one. Woo! Is it a striper or is it a? I don't know. I think it's a bluefish. Uh, we got, got a bluefish. Feels pretty good though. Nice. Got it on a cotton cordell pencil popper. Coated with, uh, this one's got the herring on there. Herring? Herring. This guy's been telling me for two years now, all he uses is anise. He snuck the herring in when I wasn't looking. Yep. I like it, but that's why you got the bluefish. That's right, 100%. They don't eat great, they fight great. Another nice bluefish. Got this one on the herring fire gel. Cotton quid all pencil popper. Right here in Connecticut. Woo. This little blue. Throw that cotton cordell six inch uh, pencil popper. This one actually has the uh, herring on it. Just mix it up a little bit, the fire there. This is one size. Great for kids to get into it. All right, this is a little cocktail blue. This one took the uh, six inch uh, cotton cordeaux pencil popper. Uh, this one had the herring uh, Potsky fire gel on it. All right, so dusk has arrived. Joe, what are we doing out here right now? All right, well, we're throwing weightless sluggos right here. What we're trying to imitate is bunker, 
shad, alewives coming down. We're here in the springtime, so there's a lot of bait in the system. Uh, since there's a lot of bunker here, we're using the bunker fire gel. And how we're putting it on here is we're getting a good amount. Christian just lost one. And we're just lathering it on there, okay? I like to put it near the head, near the tail. Get that thing fired up, big time. What he's saying is he wants it to look, taste, and smell like a bunker. And yes, that's sir. what we're trying yes, to do. Sir. It's the best thing other than having real bunker. That's right. And what we're gonna do here, cast it out. And it's just a twitch, 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 twitch. And you're reeling and twitching at the same time. Twitch, 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 twitch. And it's a pause. Twitch, 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 twitch. Pause. Twitch, 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 twitch. That's me. Christian uh, likes to cast in the back. We, <laughs> this isn't the first time this has happened today, folks. We're kind of getting used to it. It's just part of the scene here. So, you know, we're not cutting anything out. This is just what happens out here on the Connecticut River. A bunch of twitches and paws, I mean, and hopefully you get whacked. And you know how you it is. Whacked. If you see a guy catching a fish, what do you do? You just cast right where they cast it. And that's what's happening here. That's right. And we're hoping to see a couple more bites. <laughs> but as you can see we're not the only ones out here because everybody knows dusk is a great time to be out here enjoying the connecticut river and the species available here in the spring that's right just an awesome place to be i mean we while we want to catch some really big stripers we can't tell the stripers don't that you bite and tell the bluefish not to bite everybody's biting out here today with these bait and this scent and we're having a great time catching both species yeah bass it is, it's a striper. Ah, there striper. You go. Woo, baby. Put fresh. Manhattan, Manhattan. Manhattan. Bunker fire gel on my sluggo. And wah bam. I'll tell you what. They're all a hell of a lot of fun. Can't beat that. It's a good one, huh? Yeah, I got a nice blue one. Ooh. Wanna He's a fighter. Sluggo with a bunker fire gel. Yeah. Oh. Got him. Got him. I don't know, actually. Hey, guess what? Uncle Christian's got a fish on. Hey, Bob Boom. Double. Double. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Ooh, look at this one. Tail walker. It's like a tarpon. We have not seen yours yet. You know what it is? Two bass. He's got a blue. I got a blue bass. Nice. Beautiful little schoolie. The uh, white sluggo with bunker fire gel. All right, so as you can see, the sun has just kind of set behind. Oh, we got we got a double. Look at this. Look at that. No, I didn't even plan that. We got a double. <laughs> double. As I was about to say, Joe just said, this is the best time of day. Perfect time of day. It doesn't matter if we're catching stripers up here. We got a striper up there or we're catching a blue back here. Stuff is happening. Man, easy. Easy. Mayhem. Okay, so what do, what do we got over here? Small, small striper. A little small striper. Yeah, it's all right though. Right there. I'm gonna show you him. He's gonna go back in the water. And we're gonna see, oh, Joe released his. But as we were talking, Joe said his famous words. This is the time of day you wanna be here. That's right. So we've been here about 45 minutes. We watched the sun set over here. We ate Chiapino right over there, right before we came here. And look at this scene here on the Connecticut River. This is what fishing's all about, folks. It's about being out here with good people, having fun, and catching fish. Now, yeah, buddy. what do we got going on here? So we're throwing <laughs> sluggos right now, weightless sluggos. We're using the bunker, Manhattan fire gel. <laughs> you guys will understand what that means in a little while. But these sluggos, I don't even, look right here. This is what he's using, okay? You'll see here in a second. Wonka City, we call these things sluggos. He's just jigging those through the water column. 
and it's not taking much. He's getting whacked by stripers, bluefish. That's what we're getting right now, and it's pretty on fire. Should be hit, getting another one in a couple casts here. We're hoping to see a few more. But look at this scene. Long Island Sound is right there, folks, right on the other side of that lighthouse you see over there. We're at the end of the Connecticut River, and this is what dust looks like here in Connecticut. Just a beautiful scene here tonight. We only fished about, you know, two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening, and we used different things, whether it was top water, whether it was artificials or plugs, all three of those to target both species. Now, the goal for us was to come out here and show that we didn't need to use bait. We could catch these fish with anise, herring, or bunker fire gel. Why? Because it makes those plugs and artificials more attractive to the fish and allows us to go out there and have a great day. Now, we caught a lot of fish out here today. You know, the goal was to just catch fish. We didn't want to catch stripers. We didn't want to catch bluefish. We just wanted to catch fish. And we did that here in several hours of short time in a beautiful setting where the weather was perfect here on the Connecticut shoreline. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.